Hello and welcome to part two of my underwater pike series. Uh, been out again on the weekend doing a little bit more filming. Managed to catch a few more pikes uh, fishing about, just looking again at their behaviours. So as I mentioned the first one, this one's all about uh, behaviours and seeing what the pike do underwater. Uh, camera goes straight into a nice clear spot that I'll talk to you about shortly. Uh, this is the first drop of the camera going in. As soon as I've stirred up anything from the bottom, you can see the perch. The splash of the water sends them sideways, and then as soon as there's a splash, they are in and looking for stuff. Uh, so this is, uh, I had to take it out and redo it, so this just gives you a bit of a more jerky view of me pulling it back across the spot. But still, there's loads of perch. So this spot, uh, I was actually stood over with my Polaroids on and could see all these fish. I thought it was a shoal of roach at first, but actually it's a load of pike, uh, a load of perch, sorry. Um, this spot was really interesting to film because most lakes, uh, some lakes have these. It's uh, where uh, overflow comes out of the main lake and pours into the second lake. So there's a spring at the top end of the main lake, pours into the main lake, goes through to keep the level. There's an overflow at the bottom end, which flows into the small end, which then overflows into a small stream at the side. So this spot is a little deeper than the areas around it. And you can see, not on this, but it, you can see where the water comes in there's a, a shoot and it's bowled bold out like that and keeps the spot really clear um it's been cloudy all uh, summer so i've not been able to see what the bottoms look like but i knew it was a clear and there's it's a good spot for catching carp in the summer as you would expect being able to present bait like that um but it's also a great spot because a lot of lakes have these and they are absolutely packed with fish so here's mr pikey so you see that the perch vanish and uh Pikes just cruising around in the background. I say this video is about watching the behaviours, seeing what the pike's up to. Um, this lake is called Maley, it's a Coalhurst Lakes, which I, I fish regularly at. And we think that this could be the only pike in the lake. There wasn't supposed to be any pike in there. Um, and then I caught one jigging for perch uh, a couple of months ago. Someone else has caught it, uh, Nick Leone has caught it since. So there's definitely one in there, but no one's actually ever caught two pike from it. So this could be the only one in there. And he's quite happy just to, to sort of sit around. Um, what he seems to do is, there's this, this clear area, so the way it works is where the, the water drops is the deepest bit, and there's two clear areas either side. And then around that there's just leaves and silt, and the usual debris that you'd expect to see in the water at this time of year on the non-clear spots. And what the pike seems to do is, it's just sitting right on the edge of the darker bits. Uh, it's almost like it's just always stalking and looking. I uh, did cast a couple of balls at it when I saw it, but just wasn't taking anything. Um, didn't seem too bothered about going for any perch. I'm sure it will at some point. There is a perch somewhere in this video that's missing its back fin. It looks like it's been bitten off. Uh, I'll point it out if it does come on camera, but I have seen it. I've um, got about an hour's footage to crop it down for this, but most of the time the pike is just cruising about these areas um, always just along the darkness always just looking slowly moving i never actually see it do a do a full attack but it's just always there always stalking um i would imagine a dead bait in there or like on this nice nice clear spot where the pike is would have taken so we just cut to another spot and you can just see if you look closely in the background its eye Perch have gone, which always means that the pike's there. Uh, this is a trend, as I say, I've got about an hour's footage. Perch never get too close to him, but they're always about looking. And he's just, this is what it seems to do all the time, just stalks about and then swims off. And it's like the perch are all just right behind him. Now there's the one, if you look to the, the fish at the left, you can see that it's missing uh, its fin and a small bit of its back. So I assume that the pike has had a nibble out of that one at some point, and he's very, very luckily escaped it. He's right at the front of the camera now, if you can see that. Completely finless at the top, his protective fin, but somehow still alive. So that's uh, one perch I would say that has had a lucky day. But you see, the pike goes, perch. has uh, not managed to catch anything big, big perch on camera with this, but there is absolutely loads of them. And they are all just sitting there waiting for something to come out of this overflow is pike coming left over the camera the camera is only like two foot from the bank so we're not talking about being out in any deep water obviously the overflow flows into the side but the pike is 
always just mooching about looking for anything that comes over that overflow uh, same as the perch I would expect that if I've been able to free line some maggots or something like that in this spot you would have just been whipping out perch all day long nothing I say nothing big but you probably would have caught perch after perch after perch just dangled in this area It's just some more perch sitting about. Um, if you don't know Cobbler's Lake, it's down, no, here comes the pike just creeping in from the left again. You say just the speed of movement is what I, I really noticed about it was because it just doesn't go anywhere quickly. Just creeps about. Obviously, until it's until it's ready to strike and chase. It's not like it's chasing these perch all the time. I imagine it could pick off any one of them when it felt like it. It's just always slowly creeping about. Not sure I spooked them there. Uh, so though, again, this is another one where if you look really closely in the background, you can see it just almost oh, sitting. And this is what I could see from above with my polaroids is you could see the clear spot and you could just see what looked like a dark bar in the water where the pike was, was sitting. I just stood watching it moving about and just keeping an eye on what was going on. Um, I watched it, it, it must have been in this spot, uh, as I filmed for about an hour because I found my, my camera in there. Um, but it must have been in this spot for a good three hours. So every time you looked you could see either the perch or the pike or sometimes it would just drift back out and you wouldn't see it for a few minutes and then it would come back in. Um, it's quite a big area to patrol with the, the big bowl, it's probably 12 foot wide, this clear spot. Maybe 8 foot deep. Uh, an eight foot away, but yeah, I say it's just always sitting there. Um, so, film this at uh, Colhurst Lake where I regularly go to. It's filmed on Maylie Pool or the Small Pool. Uh, 10 quid for a day ticket if you want to check it out and go uh, try and catch this one pike. There's a load of pike in the main lake as well if you're, you're into pike, and there's some perch over a pound come out, but nothing massive yet because uh, there's, there's not really been many predator fishers in the, the past couple of years so uh, I'd expect to see some bigger pike uh, I think nine pound and a bit is the late record at the moment and about one pound three on a perch but I'd expect to see some bigger come out as more people fish for them and uh, they get they get caught a little more uh, Colhurst Lakes UK or check them out on Facebook if you want a book uh, 10 quid for a day on Maylie. Um they also have camping and glamping so you can stay overnight tree ten yurt tents all kinds of stuff lovely spot to go really nice and quiet and they're just about to stock some carp from various fisheries which will be going in in january or february 21 so if you're watching it after this there's also decent carp fishing along with camping and glamping uh, there's the perch just with his uh with his back fin and um, i think that's the last to see of the pike on this video and then it's just perch so many perch as i say when i was stood above looking over at first I thought it was a shoal of roach just because of the sheer number of fish obviously you could see them all over because it's the, the spots really nice and clear and light coloured bottom you could see all the perch and I was like oh look there's a shoal of roach uh, but they didn't move um, and eventually I worked out that it was just loads of perch here it comes again it's just something majestic I think about filming pike underwater I've done a lot of underwater filming of carp got lots of tension carp and roach and shores of roach and stuff sitting about but the way they move in the water and just the colours and the spots there's just something I love about watching them underwater and this is some of the better footage that I've uh, I've got of fish because the water quality is incredible and the clarity is really really good and it really really aids filming especially like this having a really really nice flat bit in the margin that you can film on so uh, this is filmed on a Water Wolf HD underwater camera with the bottom filming kit on. Um, I don't attach a rig to it because I just don't really like to. Um, so basically, I tie it to. I think it was tied to a bit of braid, and then dropped in the margin. Braid hooked over a stick on the bank. So if you, anything did decide they want to snag the line, it will just strip line off till it drops it, and then drop in and film it, and then come by. I only had about an hour's worth of battery, so I watched it back when I got home. Um, there'll be more series, 
more pike videos coming soon i'm going to try and put some bait on this spot next and see if we can get a, a video of that but uh thank you very much for watching i hope it was some form of useful drop me a comment if there's anything you'd like to see me film next time uh, subscribe to the channel you can check out car fishing videos gadget reviews glamping places underwater pike uh, underwater carp and thank you very much for watching